Okay, so here's a bit more fun exercise, uh, suggested solution to exercise number 12. Instead of resetting uh, Drupal points, we can now award Drupal points to selected users. And here's a suggested solution for doing this. And this is actually pretty simple when you have all the things in place already. I'm going to my Drupal points view here, and I will edit it. I was going to say, but that's kind of difficult because of this conflict here. So instead I'm going to views and I'm going to edit this Drupal point view. Okay. And in this bulk operations field, I'm going to edit it and add another action as uh, uh, that, that we can use. Let's see, award Drupal points. Here it is. This is another rule set that we already had created uh, back in exercise number three. It's also available as a feature if you don't have this on your site. Um, uh, and I'm going to actually override the label here and say um, uh, add or remove Drupal points instead. And I'm going to skip the confirmation step. Apply and save. And that should be it. Let's see here. Reload. And I have uh, two buttons here and I can add or remove Drupal points for this test user, for example. Number of points, five. And here we are, five points for the test user. Very nice. Uh, okay, uh, this was a bit cheating. This is almost half an exercise or something, but it's good to see that if you have a, a component that has more than one parameter, this like this um, award Drupal points, it has a user and it has an integer as parameter, then the user will be matched against the, the objects in this view and the uh, parameter that is left will be displayed as a um, as a form you use when, when um, uh, executing this action. So you can have it like this, and I, or I can have minus two or something that is then retracted from, from this uh, user. Okay, and that's it. Uh, see you in the next exercise. Then we're going to look at the rules scheduler. That's really cool. See you there. Bye.